Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be the 3,000 subscriber giveaway video. Yes, you heard that right. We made it to 3,000. I am so excited and I have a special guest here, my youngest son, and he is going to be an integral part of this giveaway. You might ask how he's going to be an integral part of this giveaway. Well, I'm going to tell you and I'm going to see what he thinks about the whole deal. So as you know, the giveaway is three handbags, one for each 1,000 subscribers that I currently have. Actually, we've blown by the 3,000 mark, and I hope that that trend continues, but for today, we're going to celebrate 3,000. Originally, I was going to use a comment picker to pick the three winners, but I think it'll be more fun if I get this guy involved. What do you think? Do you think you can handle the pressure? I think so. You think so? Well, it sounds like he's up for the challenge. So let me explain how we're going to do this. Whenever you are done watching this video and you can choose whether or not you want to watch the whole thing. As soon as I get done explaining how to enter the giveaway, I'm going to show you the items and then I'm going to show you my bag of the day and a couple of bags that I have for sale currently. So you can skip out whenever you want, but if you want to enter the giveaway, go down into the comments and put 3000 with three exclamation marks. And then after that, I want you to write one handbag that I inspired you to purchase. So you don't actually have to have had purchased it, but if you wanted to purchase it, you could write something about it. Or let's say I've inspired you to purchase many, many handbags. Just pick your favorite one and tell me about that one. So we're this guy comes in is he is going to pick the three winners and he's going to pick the three winners based on what you say in the comments whatever strikes his fancy and i'm going to have him pick winner number one winner number two and winner number three so do you think you have it in you to do all that reading because we may have some real novels going on in the comments section i hope i can you hope you can well it'll be good for your your AR, well wait, you don't have AR goals in seventh grade anymore. It'll be good for your reading comprehension scores on the star tests, right? I guess so. All right, well cool. So he's in, he's game, and so get ready, figure out your story, write it in the box, and this man here is gonna figure out who's gonna win. And we'll do it in order of one, two, three. I will ask you in that order what prize you want, and I will get those sent out to you as soon as possible. Okay, my son has left the closet because he doesn't want to listen to my whole video and I can't blame him. I think I'm pretty boring myself, so I can't imagine what it would be like for a 12, almost 13 year old to have to sit through one of my videos. But anyhow, I wanna go ahead and show you what the prizes are. The first prize that I'm going to show you today is a lambskin clutch by Dress Up Your Purse. It is part of the Midnight Dream Collection and it's ombre and fades from a purple and a pink to like a super dark purple. It's a beautiful metallic finish and it comes with a chain so that you can wear it crossbody and the inside is lined with a black vaquetta leather. It does smell wonderful. I put my sniffer on it earlier and I could smell the leather still. I'm once again wearing my lounge clothes. Here is how that clutch looks on me crossbody. You can disconnect the chain and use this inside of your handbag as a pouch. I believe it'll hold an iPad mini. These little rings that the strap clips onto fold nicely inside so you can also carry it as a little clutch if you want to do that or even attach a wristlet strap to one end. Tucked inside I've got a small charm from Dress Up Your Purse and that will be included as well. That is what it looks like when the little golden pieces are tucked away. You can see that they're very discreet if you want to just use it as a clutch. Prize number two is this beautiful bag from seethroughpurses.com. Seethrough Purses is a great company, just like Dress Up Your Purses. Seethrough Purses offers a wide variety of webbed straps like this one, and they graciously gifted me this bag in a vegan pebbled leather. And 
I think it's just perfect for fall. And I love the strap that Leanne paired with this bag. I technically have this on backwards, but I kind of like having the zipper pocket in the front just because it'd be easy to grab your phone in and out. And it's just such a nice size bag. It's very lightweight and it's gonna hold a bit more than your typical camera bag will. You can see it's got a couple pockets on the bottom there and then a zipper pocket on the top side. And it's just really well put together. So that is prize number two. Prize number three is from Longchamp and just like the first two was generously gifted so that I can give it to you. The dress up your purse bag was given to me by dress up your purse to show you and i decided that i'd like to make that one part of the giveaway and i had a conversation with melody about it and she was all for doing that and so that's kind of how that part came to fruition but these other two the see-through purses and the longchamp e-cut backpack these two i asked each one of these companies if they would like to participate in my 3000 subscriber giveaway and they both said yes right away and sent these wonderful products for me to give to you so this backpack is done in a nylon fabric and it's done in a tribal type pattern it is called E-Cut. It looks like I-Cat to me, but it's not pronounced that way. It's trimmed in the Russian cowhide leather, and it has adjustable straps in the back. Now, I did a video when I was at Disney back in February, one of my earlier videos, and in that video, I showed myself using a backpack similar to this. Now, my backpack didn't have the same sort of drawstring, so this one's actually nicer than the backpack that I have as part of my collection. It does have a pocket here inside and I think it's just got a little bit more detail with the drawstring than the backpack that I got that was part of the Le Pliage line. I think that the straps would probably be a little bit more comfortable. I think they're thicker and they're woven nicer than the straps on my backpack. They have a ton of adjustability to them. And so you should be able to wear this bag no matter what size you are. I'm going to loosen up one side of the bag and just show you. It looks great slung over the shoulder and it's very comfortable that way. That's how I wore mine primarily when I was at Disney. And again, I've just got one of the Le Pliage ones. I'm not lucky enough to have one that has the cinch and the extra details. And I think this one may be just, it may be slightly larger than mine, but not much. It's pretty close, if not the same size. So this is prize number three. So that is the end of the giveaway portion of the video. Make sure to go down into the comment section, put 3,000, well, I don't know what that was, put 3,000 with three exclamation points. That'll draw our attention that you want to be part of the giveaway. And then after that, write a bag that I inspired you to buy or I inspired you to consider to buy and just pick one. So I did tell you that I was gonna do two more things. That would be four things. Two more things today in this video. First is I wanted to show you my bag of the day. You all may have noticed I sold a couple of my Coach Cassies recently. I sold my granite one after being asked by a viewer if I would consider doing that. And then I sold my taupe one. And I sold my taupe one because I have this Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse and I wasn't really carrying my Cassie's Munch. And I have this bag in taupe. Now this has gold hardware and my Coach Cassie has silver hardware. I tend to like to sort of coordinate my jewelry, but I also will wear what I wanna wear. And so I decided I only wanted one taupe bag in this shape. Now this bag, I put it on today with the strap that it came with and it wasn't very comfortable. And so I started playing around in my closet and I found this strap. This is from my Marley 20 and it's got pebble leather, very similar to the Emprunt leather. It looks on the screen like the leather isn't a perfect match, but it is so close. I'm telling you, it's almost the same. And I love the grommeted details on this strap more than the strap that came from Louis Vuitton. So I also wanted to deck it out with a chain. 
This is a chain that comes, I believe, in a 47 or a 48 inch length off of Amazon. It's the brand XIAZW. And I just trimmed it and I put two little O-rings on it so that I could have a little bling bling on my bag. Now you can do this for any bag. It doesn't have to be a Louis Vuitton bag. And it also doesn't have to be a Louis Vuitton chain to put on a Louis Vuitton bag. A chain is a chain is a chain and it's pretty and that's all that matters to me. So here is this beautiful bag set up this way. And don't you like how those little grommets stand out and bring some bling up higher away from the bag? So you spread out the love. And I also like, like I cut this pretty short so that it wasn't dangling and it's just truly an accessory for the bag. So that is my bag of the day. I always wanna say, and this is the outfit that I slay after watching Marquita luxuries videos but i feel like i'd be copying her yeah i would i would be definitely copying her if i said that but i feel like saying that even though i'm not slaying my outfit i mean this is loungewear let's be real i'm wearing z supply and it's very loungy and it's very comfortable and that's how i like it I mentioned to you that I have two bags for sale. The first one is this Riley lunchbox. It's a beautiful bag. I've maybe worn it once or twice. When I got it, it had a couple of tiny, tiny little marks on the bottom. I have this listed on my community page. And so if you wanna see pictures of what I'm talking about, you can look at it there, but they are very minuscule. And I didn't feel like I needed to return the bag when I saw them. There's a couple tiny little marks on the back of the hang tag. Again, they're very minuscule and you know how picky I am. And I did not feel like I needed to exchange the bag when I saw them. I got this from Coach and I paid I got a little bit of an adjustment because of the imperfections. So I paid $190 for this bag and I have it listed for $195, but that includes shipping within the continental United States. One of you was asking me if I would sell my Lake Cassie and I am not ready to do that. I don't think I will be ready to do that. And I offered this as an option because this is a very similar size to a Coach Cassie 19. It's got a beautiful color palette. And it is much nicer than a Cassie 19. It's got this 1941 hang tag, which I think those are just works of art. I wish I could have one on all my bags. And then it has the 1941 woven fabric with these leather, are they called gussets? I don't know what they're called, but if you know, let me know because I've had that come up in a couple videos where I wanna say that that's a gusset and I'm not sure if I am correct on that. So when I use this bag, I will tend to leave the front compartment open so that I can grab things, but the back compartment, I put the things that I don't use that much. And again, when I say when I use this bag, I mean, I've used it like twice. The back compartment has this pocket right here with a snap. And I put the things that I don't use as much because you can't leave this back pocket open because it has a zipper that only has one zipper pull. And so if you leave it open, you're like leaving it way open. You see what I'm saying? This bag has a really nice back pocket. It will accommodate a cell phone. See, I think this was my iPhone 11 Pro case. It also has a front pocket that is closed with a magnetic snap. And it again is leather lined. The back pocket's leather lined as well, I think. It's so soft, I can't, I can't hardly tell. So yes, the front pocket and the back pocket are leather lined, and then the interior of both compartments is 1941 fabric. So this bag is super awesome quality. I am selling it because I have so many bags and I haven't reached for this one for over a year. If it doesn't sell, I'm not gonna be heartbroken. It's it's so cute. I mean, it's really cute when it's on. You can also put a little chain on it if you wanted to and carry it that way. I love how the, the strap connects like right here. I love how it has a little bit of the, I think it's granite right there. And just a little pop of that as well as the little pop of the lighter blue around the edges. And that lighter blue is on the back side of the strap I just tried on with the denim being on the front side. So this bag goes awesome with denim. I will tell you that. 
I probably should keep that bag and sell my Lake Cassie since I have eight Cassie 19s, but I just can't. I can't do it. I might just want to keep them both. If you want to buy that, you better get on it because I might change my mind. The other bag I have for sale is my Watermelon Tyler 28. This is a beautiful shade. It is lined almost completely in leather. It's got leather in the front compartment, leather in the back compartment, and then in the slip compartment in the middle, it's got a nice fabric. This bag comes with a thinner crossbody chain, and I'm going to try it on for you. That's the name of the day. We're trying stuff on. I try and, I'm trying it all on. I'm trying to give away stuff on, trying on my sale stuff, trying on my bag of the day. I'm gonna be whooped by the time this is all over. So I have four Tylers and I wanna sell this one just because I wanna make room on my tote shelf. My tote shelf, since I removed this, I spread everything out a little bit and it still looks completely full. When I wear this, I tend to want to have, and I find you can flip these out the opposite direction so that it hangs nicely, but I like to have the back one up, and sometimes I have the front one up and I just kind of tuck them together. I haven't worn this one, but I've worn my other, well, I've worn two out of the three. It comes with this adorable little charm that's a lot like the Dreamer charm, as well as a hang tag, and I have this hang tag shrink tube down there, so you wouldn't have to do that, but it's a beautiful color. If anybody thinks it's the same as Petunia, it's really not. This is my Petunia Willow Saddlebag, and it is a much brighter pink. The watermelon's really more of a fall pink. It almost has some coral-type undertones to it. And honestly, this color goes with more in my wardrobe than the Petunia does. But I am keeping the camera bag in this color. I don't feel like I need both of them because I just don't wear it often enough to justify that. But if it doesn't sell, it is beautiful and I will keep it. That said, I paid $151.90 for this bag. I bought it new. I've not used it. I did take the tags off of it. It comes with a dust bag and I will sell it to you for $115 shipped. Yes, you heard that right. I know it's insane, but I'm really just trying to make room in my closet and that's why I'm letting it go for that little. I mean, it's stupid. I could wait, I could make it, I could leave it listed for a long time and then maybe it would sell for what I paid for it, probably would, but I'm not a patient person and if things don't sell, I'll either decide to keep them or I will just, I will just drop the price until they sell. And I don't anticipate dropping the price anymore on this because I'd really like to not lose more than 30% of what I have in it. But that's about where I am. I'm going to lose about 30% of what I have in it selling it for $115 because I do have to pay for shipping. And this is a little bit bigger box than most of the bags that I've sold have needed. So... Anyhow, that is what I've got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. If, if you haven't found me on Instagram, go do it. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase in the search bar. If you're interested in either one of these bags, you can DM me on Instagram or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If you're not sure and you want to just put something in the comments about wanting one of these bags, you can do that too, but I'm going to end up referring you either to Instagram or email to contact me. So if I don't hear from you, I hope to see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.